Hi everyone in English 1301, it's Dr. E and I'm here with your week one instructional video. So at this point you should have taken some time to watch the D2L walkthrough video as well as the syllabus video. Hopefully you're not watching them all in one sitting, that's a lot of me <laughs> on your screen. So make sure that you're kind of taking some time, taking a break so that you can be fresh when you come to each, uh, each area of this week's course. So. I will always have an instructional video uh, for the week that just shows you where to go and what to do. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get right down to it. When you log into D2L, the first thing you'll see is this home page, right? And make sure that you take a look at the announcements. Uh, you may have set up the notification so that you get a text message or something every time an announcement is posted. Um, make sure that you're doing that if you want to get those. Remember, you go up to notifications. Uh, so this is just that walkthrough video that hopefully captured your attention when you logged in. And then the first place to always go uh, every week is just the content area. Once you click that, uh, make a note that sometimes you're going to see, it just depends on where you were last in the course. Uh, the last time you were using it, it'll default to that. So if you kind of get confused, you know, about what you're seeing on the screen, just go ahead and push the table or click the table of contents button or start clicking anything on the left hand side here until you find something that looks familiar. But remember that we will start having our weekly modules down here. So as you see, we have week one. And if you click on that, then we have what is taken directly from our weekly schedule. Every week will look like this. It will have everything you will uh, begin to see on Monday, as well as what's due on Thursday, what's due on Sunday. Those are our typical due dates. And then there's going to be a space for next week. Typically, I don't include that, but this is just kind of we're getting used to things. Typically, I have, okay, this these are the things we're going to read this week, and then below it is uh, what we're going to do. So don't worry, this will, this will make sense moving forward. But you'll note that on Monday, you have the introduction video. That's introduction to D2L, the syllabus video, and you're watching the weekly video now. There is the prompt that's posted for our discussion board, which is due on Thursday. And then you do have a course survey, but that's not due until the 11th of September. But I just wanted to put it here for those of you who might want to work ahead or to let you know that you want to put aside some time before that's due because it does take uh, a bit of time. So on Thursday, you do have a discussion post that's due and it is five points. I put the points over here. I want to know we're going to start small. It doesn't seem fair to drop you into week one and have a bunch of 150, you know, large scale grades. We're just easing into things. You're getting used to the course. You're getting used to my expectations. And so each week we'll slowly start to build that point value, but we're starting small. That does not mean that it's a small uh, grade in terms of importance, but we're just, you know, we're starting with the lower end of the point spectrum. All right, and on Sunday, you have a couple of things due. Uh, you should respond to two colleagues, at least two. A lot of you will end up responding to more uh, in the discussion area. That's five points. You do have a participation quiz, and then you have a mind map assignment. I'm going to go over all of it. It's okay. And then for next week, you do have some reading. So right now, we do not have any reading. Uh, so don't worry about that. Everything starts into next week. So if you scroll down, I'm always going to include three parts. So the first will always be to watch, to review, and then the third is to do. So you'll see that in every week, uh, just so that you get a sense of, okay, this is the rhythm. This is, this all looks familiar. So to watch, you hopefully have watched the D2L walkthrough video and the syllabus video. You're watching what will appear number three here. And then to review, I usually just put documents or information that you know you may want to take some time with. So one of them would be the syllabus, uh, which you had a whole video on. So, But if you need to review it, it's right here. And then we have the course schedule. So if you click on that, it will look very familiar to you as what was just on the screen, right? So you can go through uh, to see everything that's available there. So those are the things to review. And then we have the to-do section. So I did want to put the days that they're due here just as a kind of reminder. Uh, you won't see that every week, but you know, the first week I wanted to make sure that things kind of stood out, you're getting used to due dates. So the first thing is your introduction post. So if you click on this, it will take you to a post. All the information and the prompt and everything I would like you to do is in this section, including what you do. You 
to start, you click start a new thread and enter the subject. I want you to use your name as the subject and then use the text box. Um, and so I put some documents here to kind of offer some assistance if you feel like you're getting a little bit overwhelmed. But this is just a way for us to get to know one another. But I don't want you to share anything that makes you uncomfortable. Don't share too much. I've asked some questions. You can just as little information as you want in the response or as much. Um, just make sure that you know everybody in the course will see it. This is not just to me, it's for everybody because it's us having kind of a digital conversation trying to start creating that sense of community in our course. So it's just asking you, you know, what's your name? You know, what do you hope to get out of the class? What are your hobbies? Um, anything else you want to share with us, that kind of thing. So you just click start a new thread and in the subject line you'll put your name and if you choose your um, uh, your pronouns, right? And I've included mine just as an example. So if you, you know, want to just double check, click on my link and it has, and y'all, I, I post it a lot. You do not have to post this much. It's okay. Um, but when you're in other people's and you're viewing their ideas, you click reply to thread and you'll know you're doing this in the right place when you see their information in the subject line when the subject line comes up, right? So you don't change this to your name. This is just making sure that you know you're in the right place to respond instead of posting a brand new thread uh, outside of this. So again, all the instructions are going to be there for you. And if we go back to the week one module, there's also a mind map assignment. So I'm gonna walk through and explain this, uh, but I want you to note that the mind map is something that we will work with uh, quite a bit throughout the semester, but this is our first attempt. It's very basic. You'll probably recognize that those of you who may have used it as kind of a brainstorming uh, method in previous classes or, you know, uh, like thought maps, thought bubbles, that kind of thing. It's just a good way to put our ideas into kind of a visual format. It involves writing. This is a writing class, uh, but it also helps us kind of solidify our ideas by uh, putting them in a more visual kind of format than just paragraphs, right? All right, so what I want you to do is uh, think of what in the syllabus you think are kind of the most important or most relevant ideas for you as a student, okay? So in the center, you're gonna put syllabus right here. I've given you kind of a little visual that's very basic, which is okay. And radiating out, you should choose at least four areas that are important or interesting or relevant to you. And then you need to explain why. So a sentence or two in each area. I need to understand like, why do you think this is important? Um, so I put here, you can hand write or draw this and upload it as a JPEG. Again, this is an opportunity to be creative. Some of you are crafty. Some of you just would prefer to write it at this moment. You're not going to get the opportunity to hand write a lot in our course. Um, so you can definitely do that. You just need to be able to take a picture of it and upload it uh, just as you would any assignment here in JPEG format. And remember, I need to be able to, to see all the writing and everything. So take as good a picture as possible. Or you can use this template. It's very basic. If you just click on this, it will open up that Word document and you can just fill in the details. So you see, you know, it's nothing fancy. It, it, you don't have to be fancy, but it has space for everything. I've changed some colors. Uh, or you can create your own. So I'm gonna go up to File and New Document. I know it's outside of what you can see right now. Uh, so in there, I'm just going to click insert on oh, my computer. Sorry, y'all. It's moving very slowly today. Once it gets there, you're going to insert a shape. And so I definitely recommend you use something like a square. The circle is okay, but we have a text box that text box that square. So sometimes it's hard. I'll show you. Here it is. Um, now you have the shape, you need to enter text. So you go up here, click on this little text box. So sometimes you just don't have the space in a, in a circle shape to get everything you need. So then you can, I mean, you can play, you can change around the colors up here. Um, and then you just want four things radiating out from here. So you just go and insert and just stick with the same shape, right? So if you do one circle, <laughs> do another. And so you're just gonna you know, think about those things that are most important to you on a syllabus. So there may be some things that you look for on every syllabus you've received, or this is a good chance to really start to focus on, okay, I really wanna make sure I'm noticing these things in my other syllabi that I'm getting this semester or in the future. Okay, 
So that's the mind map. We'll be doing more of those in the future, but they will be a bit more detailed. There will be a video, there will be a handout. Don't stress, it's gonna be okay. All right, so when you're ready to submit, you just click upload, and then you go to find wherever it is you put that document and click open, and it will upload. So remember to do this in either .doc, .docx, uh, .pdf, or uh, JPEG, right? So make sure it's, it's a format that uh, D2L can open. D2L cannot open anything in pages, so if you have a Mac, Make sure you're looking at the area where the D2L information is because there are links about how to change the uh, format of your files if you're using something like Pages. Okay. All right, so if we go back to D2L, once you click Upload, um, then it will give you the chance to, so let me click it again. You know, you choose something, click Open. You will see it here eventually okay got no time for this then you just make sure that you submit it and one good thing about D2L is that once you hit that submit button it will send you a confirmation email which is really nice there are some things that are really annoying about D2L but that's actually one of those nice things all right so that's your mind map that's due on Sunday and then you have a quiz and so the quiz is just it's pretty basic every week. It's just asking you things from the videos or some things from the readings. It's just my way of trying to make sure that you're staying engaged, you're watching the videos. Um, so I'm going to stop here and say that the random word for this week's video is purple. Why not? So make sure that you're paying attention. Okay, so in order to take a quiz, you just click the, and it's out of screen already, you're going to click the start quiz button. And then you just go through and you answer all of that stuff. Um, you do have an unlimited uh, number of, of chances, right? So uh, you can take your time. Uh, I definitely, for all the quizzes, just make sure that you've watched all the videos and read all the, all the information for that week. This week it doesn't apply so much, but in upcoming weeks it definitely will. Okay, so I'm going to go back to, excuse me, week one. And the last thing that's available in week one is going to be that student survey. It's not due until the 11th, but again, wanted to give you access to it. So if you click on this, it will take you to a Google form. And y'all, this is a form that only I will see. Um, so feel free to share. Don't share anything you're not comfortable with. But this is just a way for me to not only get to know you, uh, but to kind of understand what you're experiencing, uh, what you need from me, what, what are those things that are going to be valuable to you as a student. Uh, just make sure that you put your name on it so you can get credit. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me, right? That's, that's always uh, something that I want you to be comfortable with. And remember that you also have the opportunity to if you want to kind of connect with other people or have questions that you don't want to necessarily address to me at first, in the collaboration section, if you go to discussions, that's where you'll see the Q&A area and the student only chat. So feel free to post in either of these places. But as with the Q&A, if you have that question, somebody else will have it. So posting there is just really helpful and you can post anonymously, that's okay. And if you are comfortable answering somebody's question, you can absolutely do that. I'll keep, I'll jump in and monitor and make any corrections if need be, uh, but it's just a nice way to kind of exchange information. Okay, that's week one. Uh, so hopefully you're feeling pretty good about this upcoming week. If you're feeling overwhelmed, that's completely normal. You're gonna get more and more comfortable again when we get into a rhythm, but you can always reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns, but good luck this week.